I'm here with Riley, aka Squi uh, Swish? Squish. Squish, and this is Bailey. And in this video, we're going to go over how you can use a little counter conditioning to help a dog get over a jealousy of another dog. So he has some vertebrae issues in his back, and his mom likes to give him a little massage. She gets jealous and actually would go and attack him when this is happening. So what the, I'm going to have the guardian do is she's going to call him over there, and she's going to kind of mimic the massage that she gets. That you know he usually gets this late at night. And so you can go ahead and call him over there. Squishy. Come here, bud. Squish. Now what we want this to do is we want her to see this happening and then her to get a treat after it. Yes. So, yes. Now I didn't mark there because he wasn't getting a massage at the same time. And you can pull out a couple of those treats if you want to maybe hold the treat with one hand and get back on the uh, edge of it so that he can have that soft spot. And then just hold the treat and don't tear him in half, just you can squish it like a pancake and hold him there with one treat and with your other hand massage him and make the same sounds and things that you do. Look at that quivering, how great is that? Yes. 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 So yes is the marker word I'm using. And I'm waiting for her to look. This is a version of the engage disengage game. Yes. So I don't want her to stare for longer than five seconds. You see here though, there's no tension on the leash. She can move in whatever direction she wants. Yes. Yes. You vocalize a little bit. There you go. Yes. There you go. So, yes. So, what we should see is her turning her head away from Squish on her own. Yes. So, I'm counting up to five seconds for her to look. Yes. So first, I'm, I'm rewarding her for looking at him while he gets the massage. Yes. After five seconds, I say the yes word, and that causes her to look away, and I give her a treat. This is the engage part of the game. Yes. That's actually the disengage. So the first part is we want her to see that she sees when he's getting attention, yes, she gets a treat. Now we have the leash here just to prevent her from not going over there. And this is different than the normal setup. It's late in the day, normally when he's getting this massage, and it's a different area of the house. It just was hard to film, so we're doing it here. Yes. So for the engage part of the game, what we want her to do is her to be able to see without reacting. And so if she's reacting, we would move him further away until she's able to do it. Yes. Oops, there you go, buddy. I don't know where that one went. There you go. Dropped it between underneath my legs, huh? So now I'm just waiting for her to look at him. Yes. So I held the treat behind my back, so I don't want her uh, just keying on it. If you use the treat that's too high value and all the dog does is look at you, you want to use a little bit lower level treat, but you want it high enough where it's worth her while. Yes. So for the first stage of this, what I'd like to have you guys do is there's two guardians in the house. Have her tethered so that she physically can't get to him. Then the other guardian is going to be up over there is where they normally do this, and she's going to be doing this massage. And every time she looks at him getting the massage, the person with her says yes and holds the treat out, causing her to turn her head away. She can look for up to five seconds. And so if she doesn't turn away and look at me within five seconds, I'm going to say yes, causing her to turn away. But what we should see is after a while, now I moved there, so I caused her to turn. Yes. So let's see if I can do this without uh, turning, without moving. Yes, so right there. She went to about two and a half seconds and she turned away on her own. So what we're saying is that we're making this a precedent. So when he gets a massage, instead of being jealous, I should be happy when he gets a massage because that means I'm gonna get the mother load of treats. So when you're doing this, what I'd like to have is the guardian who's gonna give him a massage is gonna be doing that. She's gonna be tethered far enough away where she's alert and interested but is not reacting and there's no tension on the leash. And then basically you're gonna have these high value treats. She looks. Yes. 
If it goes longer than five seconds, you say the word yes. Now, at first, when I first started doing this, as soon as she looks, I would say yes, but she's already beaten that, gotten to that point right away. So I don't need the engage part. I now just want the disengage. Now you see, this is an example of the treat being a little bit too high. So I'm gonna wait. Make a little no noise over there. Yes. So now I'm marking when she looks away. Um, this has been a little bit convoluted, so let me just uh, spray, it, spray it down real, one more time. So when she looks, we're gonna say yes at first, and then she gets a treat, she, and it causes her to turn her head. After we've done this for a while, when she looks and she starts looking away, then we're gonna say yes when she looks away from him. And so now, he can get all that massage work, and you see her body language. Her ears look relaxed, she's not breathing too heavy, her mouth is open, yeah, she's a little bit aroused, but not to the same extent where she normally is. And the fact that he feels comfortable enough to come over here to her tells me that she's not negative, uh, this isn't a negative environment for her. So this is gonna be taking a little bit of practice and I would have her on that side of you guys and on this side of that, it's kind of a split level house uh, where they're at. And so we want her to practice looking at him getting this massage from different angles. So as soon as she looks at it, we say yes and give her a treat and to the point where she's looking at it right away, then we wait for her to disengage like right now. Yes. And I held it in a way that caused her to take a step away from the other dog. So this way Squish can go ahead and get his massage, which he needs. His guardian gets some one-on-one -on -one time with him. She doesn't have to worry about her coming over here because we have the leash to make sure everybody stays safe. And she likes the experience because when he gets a massage, I get treats. Let's see if you look one more time. Oh. You better make some noise. Yeah, I've been using too high a level of treat, but I want to make sure I'm using high enough level that she likes it. Sorry. That's okay. You didn't do exactly what I wanted, but you did pretty good. So this is an exercise. What I would do is I would make petting him and giving him a massage, just like you just did, part of your daily routine where she gets practiced doing this. So she starts looking at him getting a massage as a positive thing because that means that she's going to get a reward. Well, this is uh, Squish, which is, it. what's his real name? Or his? Riley. Riley, that's right. And this is Bailey's for Bailey's Irish Cream. And this is a, a little uh, exercise on how you can help one dog stop being jealous when another dog gets attention. <laughs>